what's the most fashionable fundraiser in town? The Main Wear Expo, of course. Well, basically, as you know, you know, we live in a, a little bit of a seasonal community. We have a lot of, uh, you know, attractions for spring and summer, so it's like really important for me to stay creative during that tail end of the winter months when people are just like, ah, I can't do it anymore. And, you know, I own two stores in the area, one in Honesville and one in Narrowsburg. So that, that's the time for me to really give back. It's a slow month for me. So I said to myself, oh, I really want to do a charity event once a year. And I approached the Cooperage with this concept of a fashion show fundraiser. And with that, um, we got together with Catherine Brown from Sixth and River and Fox Hill Farm Experience, the wedding guru, and Jenna, who owns the Picker's Find. Like, um, it's an amazing place, and she does all the front. And so the stylists came together, and the Cooperage board said, let's do it. And so that makes me happy. So it's the third year. All of the outfits on display were sourced and designed by local businesses, many of which on Main Street in Honesdale. Refreshments were also provided by area businesses and included fresh fruit and delicious Mocha Origins chocolate. Fashion show was absolutely wonderful. All the looks were gorgeous. Alessandra is a genius. So happy and honored to have sung for the first half of the show and their walks, and it just felt really great. And I got to enjoy the second half, and it looked amazing and uh, really showcased a lot of the different looks that this town offers in their stores. I had no idea. Um, just really creative, and food was also fantastic. It really just takes an army and it takes a village and you just contact Ryan at the Cooperage. Um, she's in charge of all the volunteers and all the people and we would love to have anybody can be in the show, anybody at all, it doesn't matter who you are, you can help, you can volunteer, you can cook. As for next year, we've, we've had some themes. Um, I had an idea of doing like a dance inspired because obviously we always want to bring in the arts the cooper just the arts you know and i have this idea of like very lincoln center dramatic like ballerinas and smoke machines we'll see what i can pull off <laughs> to see how you can get involved in next year's show contact the cooperage this year's delaware river sojourn is taking place june 14th through june 22nd paddling 
great food, camping, educational programs, and entertainment. All you'll need to bring is a tent and any other camping gear you'd like. If camping isn't your style, stay at one of the many bed and breakfasts along the way. Your kayak, life jacket, paddle, and most of your meals are included for one daily rate. For more information, visit DelawareRiverSojourn.com. Everyone is welcome, and we'll see you on the river. Spring Thaw Ice and Wine Festival is a celebration of the end of winter and the beginning of spring. What better way to welcome the new season than with close friends and fine local wines? Hello, my name is Leanne from Lucci Family Wine Cellars. We have been making wine for years and years and years. We have sweet wines, we have dry wines, we have red, white, fruits, everything. We you know, adhere to everyone's palate. So we try to get everyone to like something and find something that you like. With Deep Roots Hard Cider, um, started about four years ago this summer, and basically we're doing really, really well as our business grows. So we are a little bit different than a lot of the, the commercial ciders because we're more of a wine style cider. So what that means basically is like about a 9.9 to 10% hard cider, wine style, no bubbles. That covers about 10 to 12 different hard ciders and a few dessert wines as well. Our winery, Capricolino Winery, started in uh, 2003, so we're, we're in our 16th year. We carry a, a variety of dry wines and, and both red and white, as well as sweet fruit wines. We like to have fun. We like to be really laid back, and we're not into the, the snobbery that often happens with, with wines. Aside from the fruit of the vine, there were plenty of vendors selling their homemade wares and tasty snacks. live music to set the mood. Thaw Ice and Wine Festival. No better way to welcome spring. Hi, I'm Lorraine Collins with Davis R. Chant Realtors. With over 50 years of serving the Lake Wall and Paw Pack region, Chant Realtors sells more homes by volume than any other realtor in the area. The Lake Well and Paw Pack area is an attractive place to live because of its low taxes, great school districts, and beautiful scenery. Agents at Davis R. Chant Realtors have an extensive knowledge of the local market and experience with everyone from first time home buyers to experienced investors. Chant uses a variety of print media, billboards, open houses, and national websites to promote properties and reach buyers. We work with sellers to put together a thoughtful but aggressive market plan tailored to each home individually. Here at Chant, we know that working together and providing channels of communication and feedback is important for the best outcome when selling your home. We provide a unique feature called Seller's Dashboard to our sellers, which allow you to view up-to-the-minute online information about your home, including how it is being marketed, how often it is being shown, and notes from agents and buyers. If you are ready to relocate, upgrade, downsize, or know anyone who is considering the Lake Region, please stop by or call Davis R. Chant Realtors at 
226-4518 or visit us online at chantre.com. i2Print is your premium printing service for all your professional printing needs. We'll help you throughout the printing process from design to distribution. With bookbinding abilities, we'll be able to help you get the word out or promote your business with branded assets and products. i2Print offers top quality print products at competitive prices with quick turnaround and fast delivery. From business cards, large format posters, brochures, and wrap cards to annual reports, i2Print can print everything you need to promote your product, service, and business. With the best printing technology available today, we live up to our tag, service, speed, and success. Choose i2Print for your next printing project. The Lake Region of the Northern Pocono Mountains is best known for its pristine beauty, great quality of life, and abundant outdoor recreational activities. But it's also considered a birthplace of American cinema, pioneered by filmmaker D.W. Griffith, best known for his film, Birth of a Nation. Griffith used the Northern Pocono Mountains as a backdrop for several films produced for the Biograph Company. Two of his earlier short works were filmed in Milford, Pennsylvania in 1912. The Informer and A Feud in the Kentucky Hills are 18-minute silent films produced and directed by D.W. Griffith and starring Mary Pickford shot in the Northern Pocono Mountains. Since that time, there have been hundreds of films shot in the Lake Region, including popular features like Blue Valentine, Playing for Keeps, Mr. Hush, Entity, and many others. One of the most notable films ever produced in the Northern Pennsylvania area was the 1970 film, The Molly Maguires, starring Sean Connery, Richard Harris, and Samantha Edgar. The story centers around a 19th century secret organization made up of working class immigrants fighting oppressive coal mine owners. The group was known for their violence and murders throughout the Pennsylvania's anthracite coal region. Wet Hot American Summer, starring David Hyde Pierce, Michael Schwalter, Molly Shannon, and Janine Garofalo, shot on location at Camp Tawanda, northwest of Lake Wallenpawpak. The Northern Pocono Mountains is also a favorite location for up-and-coming young film directors and producers due to its wide open spaces, expansive forest, and low production costs. Films like In the Shadows and the Wilderness are two recent projects shot in the Lake Region. In the short film In the Shadows, a small town sheriff must overcome his grief over the death of his father while protecting his community from a notorious outlaw. He soon learns things may not be as black and white as he originally thought. The Wilderness uses original 1830s cabins in a state park as the location for their film. Well, think about it, Henry. What kind of banker drives a piece of junk car like that? How far is this cabin, Mitch? We're almost there, kid. Mitch, what if there isn't any money? Don't turn into a dope on me, Henry. If you didn't move all the way out in the middle of the woods and not have a stash, that'd be suicide. Well, what if he doesn't give it up? What do we do then? Would you quit it with all the questions? What are we gonna do? I'll figure something out. This year, several films have used the Pocono Mountains as a backdrop for their productions. The Virtuoso, starring Anthony Hopkins, shot in Mount Pocono and in Scranton. This film is about a hitman, Anson Mount, who after completing a hit, hides out in the woods and awaits his next objective from his mentor, Anthony Hopkins. As his next mission progresses, he realizes it's a lot more complicated than he expected, and chaos ensues. This feature used an experienced union production crew made up of several different departments including lighting, sound, camera, 
wardrobe, makeup, and special effects, to name a few. While the principles of production have not changed much over the years, technology has revolutionized the workflow on set. Wireless technologies allow control of camera functions, lighting, directing, and sound to operate remotely. Digital film technology makes cameras lighter and more compact and provides the ability to immediately review a scene. It also allows for immediate playback of the footage and transmission of digital footage to a post-production facility for editing. And while one scene is being shot, another was being set up. This allows the production team to move continuously from shot to shot without long breaks between takes. Here the camera team uses a camera dolly to create a smooth tracking shot as a second static camera captures a different angle simultaneously. The key scenes filmed in Scranton included utilizing a closed bank, a car chase, and blowing up an RV. The Virtuoso's production team felt supported and were impressed by our film-friendly Pocono Mountain communities. It's nice to see small cities and rural communities being used for their charming streets and historic backdrops, which makes the lake region of the Pocono Mountains the perfect setting for film production. Creating a controlled explosion in a downtown area with pedestrians, crew, and actors required a detailed safety plan. The city of Scranton provided police and fire support to make sure everything ran smoothly. Scenes like this require proper training, special equipment, a safety crew, and an experienced team of stunt professionals. In addition to all the film activity, television shows like Gordon Ramsay's Hotel Hell, Restaurant Impossible, Treehouse Masters, Abandoned, and many others shoot in the Pocono Mountains. This region's stunning backdrops provide dramatic settings for photography, which appear internationally in magazines like Vogue. The Pocono Mountain region is a strong supporter of independent film production, as shown by the success of several events like The Black Bear, Pocono Mountain, and the Short Spooky Film Festival. These events showcase independent film projects and support the growing community of filmmakers, crew, and talent located in the Pocono Mountains. For more information on film production in the Northern Pocono Mountains, visit the Northeastern Pennsylvania Regional Film Office website at PoconoFilm.com. The Sterling Business and Technology Park is currently divided into 23 lots ranging in size from 3 to 30 acres. Each lot in the park is KLZ certified for companies that qualify. The Sterling Business and Technology Park is perfectly located just off exit 17 on Interstate 84 
in northeastern Pennsylvania, just under two hours from New York City. If you would like to explore locating your business at Sterling Business and Technology Park, visit sterlingbusinesspark.com. Hey folks, do you wonder why you see so many B&B Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles here in the Northeast? It's no secret, ask the owner. You'll find out B&B Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram in Honesdale not only offers great deals, but you can't beat the knowledgeable and friendly sales staff and the exceptional factory trained service technicians. Going shopping for a new or used vehicle? Stop by B&B Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram in Honesdale and make a deal. Get pre-approved. Check out our inventory. Go to bnbdodge.com or better yet visit our showroom at 125 Grandview Avenue, Honesdale. B&B, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. You'll love your new car or truck if you get it from B&B. and b better and better. This year's Delaware River Sojourn is taking place June 14th through June 22nd. Paddling, great food, camping, educational programs, and entertainment. All you'll need to bring is a tent and any other camping gear you'd like. If camping isn't your style, stay at one of the many bed and breakfasts along the way. Your kayak, life jacket, paddle, and most of your meals are included for one daily rate. For more information, visit DelawareRiverSojourn.com. Everyone is welcome, and we'll see you on the river. The communities of Strasburg and East Strasburg are located minutes from the New Jersey and Pennsylvania border. On Interstate 80, just under 90 minutes from New York City, known as the heart of the Pocono Mountains, the Strasburg area was home to a large number of resorts and once called the honeymoon capital of the world because of the heart-shaped and champagne-shaped tubs catering to the newlyweds. And one of its earliest buildings was the Stroud Mansion which still exists today. Daniel Stroud helped develop modern-day Stroudsburg and was responsible for laying out the streets, buildings, schools, churches, and attracting businesses and families to the growing town. East Stroudsburg, originally called Dansbury, was incorporated in 1870 and quickly became the industrial center of the county due to the increased traffic from the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad. Industry in the area consisted of tanneries, mills, a cigar factory, breweries, and retail shops. Today, Stroudsburg features a diversified downtown with a wide variety of retail including gift shops, cafes, bars, restaurants, theaters, spas, art galleries, hotels, and much more. The Historic Preservation District features the Stroud Mansion and the courthouse and its monuments erected in honor of the area's fallen servicemen of both the Civil and First World War, as well as several churches well over 200 years old. Stroudsburg is a college town with nearby East Stroudsburg University. Its over 8,000 students keep Main Street vibrant and drive the downtown economy. The university offers an innovation center and 57 undergraduate, 21 masters, and one doctorate program. The natural area around Stroudsburg features many well-maintained parks, walking trails, some even feature rivers and streams. Minutes away from downtown Stroudsburg are several resorts that attract people from around the world. Stroudmoor is one of the top wedding destinations in the Pocono Mountains.
featuring a variety of indoor and outdoor wedding chapels, gardens with amazingly scenic views, It also hosts on-site makeup, hair, and spa services, as well as lodging for the wedding party and guests. On the other side of Strasbourg lies the new Kalahari Resort, which is expanding to over 1,000 rooms. Its 30 acres of water park will be the ultimate place to get wet and wild with friends and family. Kalahari will also feature a 205,000 square foot convention center. Not far from Kalahari are the Mount Airy Lodge and Casino and the Great Wolf Lodge and Water Park. And also on the Delaware River is Shawnee Mountain. Not far from Strasbourg, featuring a variety of festivals during the summer and skiing and snow tubing in the winter. Next to the ski mountain is the historic Shawnee Inn and Golf Course on the Delaware River home to the Shawnee Playhouse and the Shawnee Craft Brewery, which produces some of the area's best beers. And just up the road is the Rainbow Mountain Resort, adding to the region's diversity. If you're traveling to the Pocono Mountains, be sure to stop by Strasbourg. Its wealth of recreational activities, historic treasures, natural areas, and plenty of spaces to explore promise a trip filled with adventure. For information for all the great activities in the Strasbourg area, visit PoconoMountains.com. The Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau is really a tool for the visitors coming to the region to learn about all the great things that we have to offer as well as what our members have to offer. So stop by one of our five visitor centers like this one here in Milford. We also have visitor centers located at Lake Wall Paul Pack, in Honesdale at the train station, as well as in Jim Thorpe at the train station. And we also have one at our visitor center at the main offices of the Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau in Stroudsburg. So when you're in town or you have friends in town or you're visiting, stop by one of the visitor centers to learn more and other great ways to visit us online at PoconoMountains.com or follow us on social media channels at Pocono Tourism. So, you want to know what this whole Freedom Boat Club thing is all about? Simply put, we're a club that makes boating, well, simple. Here's how it works. You join the club, you pay a one-time membership fee, and then monthly dues from there on out. And instantly, you get access to a fleet of boats. As a member, their entire fleet is at your disposal. All those things you imagine boating to be suddenly become reality. When you're done, you simply head back to the dock where the boat club staff will be waiting. Leave the boat with them, and that's it. Make your visit to the Poconos the best it can be. Go to visitpoconos.com. Explore events, attractions, lodging, dining, shopping, and more. Visit Poconos is your one-stop shop. Be in the know and visitpoconos.com. Tune in to Wally Life every Monday at 9 p.m. on Blue Ridge Communications Channel 13 for the latest in life around Lake Wallenpaulpack.